So this is Android 16 running on my Poco F4. This Snapdragon-powered phone that's officially stuck on Android 14 is now running the latest Android 16, and it's surprisingly smooth. Now, before you think I did something crazy like flashing custom ROMs, let me tell you I didn't lose a single piece of data doing this. This is all thanks to GSI and DSU. But I did install some mods on it to make it look better like the new Quick Settings panel and Pixel Launcher. What you're looking at right now is completely reversible. If I reboot this phone, it'll go right back to my original Android 14 system with all my apps, photos, and settings exactly as I left them. I know Poco update situation has been frustrating for a lot of us, so I wanted to share this method because it lets you experience newer Android versions without any of the usual risks. The whole process uses Android's own built-in features, so we're not doing anything that'll void warranties or brick devices. Let me show you exactly how I got here and walk you through the complete process step by step. Installation is pretty easy. Just go to your phone's settings and then find the About Phone section. As you can see, my phone is currently running on HyperOS based on Android 14. Now here, tap seven times on OS version. It will enable developer options feature in your phone. You will find this newly unlocked option in the additional settings section of your phone's settings. Now from here, go to developer options. And as you can see, my bootloader is unlocked. Generally, a locked bootloader prevents booting a Dynamic System Update GSI generic system image unless it's an officially Google-signed GSI for Pixel devices, but you can try it with a locked bootloader. Let's check if it works. I will provide guidance in the video description to unlock the bootloader. Now just scroll through the developer options a little bit and you will find the DSU loader option. Now click on it and select your preferred GSI. I recommend you choose the GSI plus GMS Core because it comes with Google Apps and Play Store. After you select the GSI, agree to their terms and conditions and your phone will start downloading the GSI and partitioning your system. Now while this GSI is downloading, let me share something with you. Which phones support DSU Loader? Generally, devices running Android 11 and above with dynamic partitions. Think Google Pixel phones and many newer models from brands like Xiaomi, Nothing, Sony, and OnePlus, even some Vivo and Realme phones too. But not every phone has it. Older devices running Android 10 or earlier and some manufacturers like Samsung often don't. Also, if your phone lacks dynamic partitions, DSU might not be an option. Once GSI installation completes, reboot your phone from the notifications panel and your phone will now boot into the new GSI system. As you can see, my phone has booted the GSI successfully. So after setup, you can see my phone is running Android 16 perfectly. This might not look like what I displayed at the start of the video because I installed some mods to make my phone look better. Comment below if you want that video too. Now you're thinking, how can we go back to our primary system? Slide down your notifications panel and reboot your phone. It will boot your phone into your primary system. As you can see, all the apps are intact on my phone and I just came from Android 16. Here's an important consideration for your workflow. Every time you reboot your device, all data that you've saved or configured within the GSI environment will be permanently discarded the moment you boot back into your primary system. However, there's an advanced feature called Sticky Mode that addresses this limitation. Sticky Mode for DSU Dynamic System Updates ensures that your device will consistently boot into the GSI, which is your temporary Android system installation, even after system restarts. Under normal circumstances, without Sticky Mode enabled, any restart will automatically return you to your original Android system configuration. Implementing this feature is remarkably straightforward. Simply boot your device into the DSU GSI environment and activate developer options within that system. You can confirm DSU is currently running, which indicates I'm operating within the GSI environment. Next, enable USB debugging from the developer options menu. Connect your device in ADB mode and execute this specific command, ADB shell GSI tool enable. This configuration allows you to utilize your GSIROM as your primary daily driver if desired. When you're ready to revert to your original system, simply execute the same command with the disable parameter, ADB shell GSI tool disable. 
That's it for this video. If this tutorial helped you experience Android 16 on your device, please hit that like button and subscribe for more advanced Android techniques. Drop a comment below sharing which device you tried this on and let me know if you want to see those visual customization tutorials I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.